Welcome to an all new episode of FR Racing's Garage Talk. I'm DJ Fluck. I am Eric Richardson. We just got done. This is Wednesday. We're recording this on Wednesday night. Again, we just got done with Wednesday night dash at Mid-Ohio. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. There was some great racing at the very front. And there was some very bad racing at the rear where I was. Uh, I finished ninth. Eric, you were eighth? Eighth. Eighth. Both had some problems. I think you you said you got black flagged in the, the race. I lost it coming off of the last turn and I spun and there's a gap in the pit wall. I spun and went directly into it. And I figured, eh, why not? Let's get some fresh rubber and go for it. So After. I did get black flagged for an unsafe pit entry. I might have asked to clear it and let the competition committee say, no, you deserve that one. Or yeah, you called that right. But at that point, I think you were two laps behind me and I wasn't going to catch seventh and like, I don't care. Yeah, I got through this race. Whatever. (laughs) It's a road race. I finished three laps down. You finished two laps down. I was doing okay. And then I got, for some reason, in Thunder Valley on the first lap, I just lost it. I don't know why. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. It just, whatever. Yeah, I want to see what those front runners were doing because through last week, I was feeling pretty good and car was really stable oh. but then last few days i guess i changed something but it was like i was driving on glass and so, i just had no grip and league, league rookie tyler vickery won the race tonight he uh he's had a couple second place he had that close call or the close finish with scott mccarris last week on a so. sound like i was kind of watching on the relative but it looks like him and hunter had a great battle going. yeah hunter hunter spun, spun maybe? hunter spun late in uh i want to say with about two to go he spun and mark uh ended up mark vickers ended up moving into second and finishing in in second place uh mark hunter both of them know this track very well hunter lives pretty much down the road from it I think um, but, he's run almost every car he owns yes. at Mid Ohio. He he he's he has admitted that as when he buys a new car, the first time first place he takes it is to Mid Ohio. So he knows that track extremely well. It's his home track. I, I expected a good performance out of him tonight, and I knew with Mark and the, the work he's put in with the endurance team that he was going to have another good showing. And when he did a what hour long solo he race did. in the GT three, he did. Yeah, he. Uh, so uh, those those two finishing in the top three, I'm not too terribly surprised. Mark spun a, once. I actually saw him go off the track. He didn't quite fully spin, but it was it, he lost all his momentum and ended up off the track at one point, um, which pushed him, I think, about seven or eight seconds back of the win. But otherwise, he would have been right there. I, it just Tyler was flying. I think he was like averaging 131, 132, or something like that. For the yeah, entire twenty lap line. was one thirty four, I think, and I I got I a one. Keep up. I I just like I was I I thought I was confident going in. I was running one thirty six, one thirty seven in practice, and then I ate it in the first lap. Had to pit for repairs, and then I just played like super conservative. And plus, I was pulling over for the lead cars as they were coming by. I was like, I'm not going to ruin their night because my night's ruined. So yeah, if you watch from our stream. <laughs> You hear me pretty much going, I'm just going to drive through this and it's a road course, whatever. Hopefully somebody runs off and I move up a spot, but La- let's get La- through tonight. So, so last thing on there, I mean, we weren't planning on talking about this first, but Hey, whatever. Hey, um, yeah, it happens. So tonight we had the return of Justin Wexberg. Justin was one of our original, he was actually our first driver that joined us outside of, of the two of us and my brother, Kyle. And it's speak to have him back. So he he finally his uh, his schedule has come together. He was trying to come back last week, but he didn't have his updates for season four done, and he just didn't get them done in time to join us for Kansas. But so good to have Justin back. Really excited about that. And I mentioned my brother Kyle. He joined us tonight. He was having these graphics card issues where the drivers weren't updating properly, and so the game would crash at ninety percent loading. Uh, and we worked on it for off and on for. About a month and a half. Yeah, it's been a while. And, and finally, finally, the we tried a driver that shouldn't, in theory, a graphics driver that shouldn't have worked in theory, but it did. And now he's back. So 
Uh, didn't gotta get, like technology. Yeah, yeah. He got about an hour of practice after not being in the car for two plus months. So uh, there were not many expectations for him tonight. And he said, after my fourth wreck and three laps, he goes, I just said, heck with it. I'm not going to ruin anyone's race. So he he pulled off and, and called it a night. So, but he's back at least. We're, we're getting closer to having a full field. Uh, we're missing three tonight. One of our rookie drivers hasn't been in attendance. I reached out to him a couple of times. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there, but um, Justin Eves and Eric, get in. Eric Blum were not in attendance tonight either. So I got, I got two points out of the deal. My, my streak of scoring points in every race continues. I was, was a little concerned tonight for a while that I was going to be that first zero pointer uh, of the year, but it didn't yeah. happen. We Those got three. through the road course. We're back to the ovals coming up. Talladega next week. Concord. Yeah, Which, Concord's gonna be fun. Yeah, I really so, like that track in Arca. It's it, it's like so a the, toned down version of Phoenix on steroids. Yeah, it's and I don't know what happened when we were planning the schedule. I swear there was an Arca config for that track, and then after the season four update, it was gone. And so actually, Kendall Kerr, our announcer, has actually put together kind of a rough. Uh, set up for us that's just a little bit you know tweak the baseline a little bit for us so um we're gonna give that a shot and, and run the race with with kendall's config even a year ago i almost jumped in an arca race at concord and then i think a yeah weeks later, i swear it used to be on the schedule watching arca breaks was hilarious because of the nature of that track there probably so. is yeah there's probably an, uh, yeah i love arca breaks i think that is just those guys are so good. Like they, they don't even race in half the races. They just pick a random race and jump in and just, it, it just, it's out of control. But anyway, uh, enough about them. Uh, world of racing this week. Um, Indy car season is over. Formula one released the schedule this week. Mainly, I think to lock in the Vegas date of November was November 18th, 2023. Yeah, 16 to 18 weekend in Vegas, baby. Yeah, I went and looked at the uh, hotel rooms and I went out like far east suburb, almost into Arizona. And like hotels are either sold out or $500 a night per room. So I don't know what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> Trade off driving and overnight back to Phoenix. Uh, I that is a possibility. Um, you know, we're gonna rent a van, drive up from Phoenix. It's like five hours. I mean, the only <laughs> I just had a really bad idea. I don't That's know. What I want to know. I don't. I don't. I had a really bad, really bad idea, and I'm gonna share it. What if we rent an RV? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have wanted to do that. <laughs> rent an rv and drive it up from phoenix oh man you, your parents had an rv when you were or some kind of yeah like, we had a travel trailer grew up um driving around the country went out west a few times yeah you went up to the grand, east. grand canyon uh yeah that was a trip wyoming grand tetons um that was another one um <laughs> Yeah, I've been all over the country. I think there's only about five states I haven't been to, and two of those are Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah, I'm I'm down to like eight states that I haven't been to, and Alaska and Hawaii are are two of them. So, um, we're yeah, no, we're gonna have I'm to... all for that. <laughs> I don't think there's a there has to be some kind of racetrack in in Alaska. No, um, there, there must something. be. I mean, I, if you unless you want to ice, like, but I mean, yeah, you count the Iditarod. I mean, that's kind of a race. I mean, that is a race. It's not not motorsports, but I'm and, here recently. I've kind of want to get like an old mini bus, get it fixed up, and let that be the tailgate wagon going to sporting events. You think uh, we can ask, reach out to Mark Davis, you know, the Las Vegas Raiders, and ask him if we can sleep in the stadium, see if they'd be okay with that. <laughs> There's a restroom right there. You know, um, these eyes are, let's I, look into it. These ideas are getting progressively stupider. I'm just, we're going to stop. <laughs> hey, I'm, it's not stupid thinking. It's just outside the box. It's, I don't want to never pay. know until you ask. I, I'm looking at these hotels. Uh, you know, a lot of them, they're actually, I don't think that, I mean, there's no way almost every hotel in Henderson, Nevada is sold out for that weekend. I, I've got this hunch that they had blocked off or blacked out. I mean, it's over a year away. 
And booking a year out is pretty challenging to begin with, you know, even if it's not for an event. So it's I'm assuming the rooms assuming, may just not be available. Yet. Right. Yeah. They may just have it blacked out on the calendar. So, I mean, it's, well, we'll figure something out. Yeah. I hey, mean, Mark if, Davis, if you're listening at some point, you can please, make bank. Open it up. Yeah. Run some concessions. Oh, run the concession stand. I'll run out, run out the suite. I'll, you know, <laughs> get cots set up down on the I mean, field level. You will it, make bank that weekend. It, it can't be any, any worse than Raiders fans, can it? I mean, you host Raiders fans every home game. So I don't think a bunch of Formula One fans are anything to worry about. Uh, apologies to the Raiders fans. Raider um, Nation. Raider Nation. Um, NASCAR, Bristol, Chris, Chris Busher. Yep. Third, through third playoff race, third non-playoff driver to win. And that's Nin- what 19 19, 19 oh. different winners this season. NASCAR so, put up put up a graphic with Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, and Chris Busher standing like next to each other, like you know, the, the, the classic driver pose with like the playoff logo behind it. It's just <laughs> So I'm going to throw this out there. What's the point of the playoffs now with 19 different winners? You had the, what, guy in second place not even make it into the playoffs because Truex didn't win a race. Uh, yeah, Ky- and wild. then Ky- Kyle Busch gets eliminated because his engine blew up on him. What was it, two out of three races in the playoffs? Yeah, yeah, two out of three races in the playoffs, his engine blew up on him. If you want to go playoffs and take 16 drivers, you know, I'm cool with that, but let's just keep them in. 10 races, go for it. Redo the points as you do, but let them stay in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been just all over the place. As so. Truex was a serious championship contender this year, having an engine blow up on two races, I mean, I don't Blaney, like Kyle Busch, yeah. but I, that's not fair. That's not uh, right. No. Uh, and and you know Ryan Blaney has been, you know he was what top four in points this season pre playoffs. He had to like back into the playoffs because he didn't have a win. Yeah, he got lucky because he, Kurt, like, Bush Kurt Bush dropped, dropped out. out. Otherwise, he would have been out too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, just what and, a mess. Yeah, Blaney and Truex were I think second and fourth or second and fifth in the overall point standings, and obviously Truex didn't. In and Blaney got lucky. He got in on a technicality, basically. And now you have three different winners in the playoffs. So to me, let's well, one maybe, of them driving Kurt Busch's car. Here. Yeah. Hey, did you see that? Did you see the news about Kyle Busch? Um, he uh, that Gibbs swapped him and Denny Hamlin's pit crews, <laughs> <laughs> and they pointed oh. out that that uh, Kurt, uh, Kyle Busch's pit crew has like the fastest pit stop of the year, or something yep. like that, and. Uh, Denny's still in the playoffs. Let's give him the better pit crew. Yeah, Gibbs has been an interesting team this year. Yeah, yeah. After uh, Pocono. You know, I almost forgot about that. Yeah. That was and then you too. lose Kyle Busch to Childress. Um, yeah, great year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oi, have you been watching the uh, the NASCAR like season documentary on USA? I've seen parts of it, but I actually haven't watched too much of it. I I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's basic. I mean, it's, it's, you know, you're what you typically expect. They follow a driver around during the day. They follow him home um, around the house. And, and then, you know, and then they, they do the race highlights and just kind of feature a couple different drivers and um, Kyle Busch, they followed him home and and you saw his, his kid and and Samantha uh, at home. And, you know, she's, pregnant again and and had a you know she's been big into the fertility treatments um you know that's how they're they, she had to have fertility treatments for for brexton Bre- yes brexton and then she had to go through another round of fertility for her her next child and it sounds like so far so good um uh, but it's mm-hmm. tough good to them. it's good tough them. it's good all yeah. healthy yes indeed all right we're gonna do something special to close out today uh if you watch the broadcast on Wednesday Wednesday night, I I, I haven't yet. Um, it, you know the race was called the Wednesday night dash anniversary race, and on 
September 15th, I put 16th, but that was the day I copied it over to YouTube. The, the actual event was September 15th, 2021. We decided we're going to hop on to Twitch. We had no idea what we were doing. We, you had just gotten your racing wheel. Yeah, I think and that day. Even. Yeah, like earlier that day, you just got your racing wheel finally after it being like back ordered for whatever. Um, we jumped on Twitch. We jumped in the DW12 indie car we loaded up charlotte and uh we did a practice a brief two-lap qualification and then we raced for about 35 40 minutes and that does that format sound familiar yeah it was um we that was we, the pilot yeah we during that broadcast we coined the phrase wednesday night dash and sure enough we did a race almost every week we switched around in cars it was just the two of us and we you know a few weeks later we said you know what? we could probably turn this into a league next year and now we've had what eight the we did what nine races didn't we we did about um no maybe 13 races yeah i don't remember uh, uh, i thought we did like because we were 15 it was we seven. Yeah, we did. We did fifteen. We did fifteen races because it was seven to seven going into. No. It was either we six to six or seven. In, to... Yeah, we were tied going but... in, and we revisited Charlotte for that final and, race. And we, yeah, and we it went much different that time, and uh, I pulled out the win. I actually, I think you had an accident in that final final race that put you a lap yeah, down. Yeah, I think we were like right on the edge of the fuel window, and I was trying to play it a little conservative and then goofed you, a little bit and, i think you locked it up slowing down to, to enter pit road yeah it was something that you know it was a lot of fun and to see where we're at now is really cool i mean we've we have 15 drivers in the league now we've had this was this week was race three of the season we've had 824 I mean, we, we had that partial season where we had some of the season two drivers towards the end of it, but officially we've run 27 races. Uh, we've had, I don't know, eight or 10 recruiting races, unofficial races. And, uh, you know, we've put this group together that what six or seven, eight of us have come back season after season. Um, you know, yeah, there's a good number that have stuck around from season two. Yeah, we've it's been great. I mean, we've we're having a lot of fun. Um, it was hard to watch. We're gonna show you the some of the highlights of that first race, and just kind of it's gonna be tough to watch because it, it sucked, frankly. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead. I have uh, I'm actually in this Zoom twice because I'm sharing my screen on my uh, my racing PC here and share. All right, so set the the cars look different because we've changed them up since then, and so when you pull up a replay, it takes your current car. So this is not what the cars looked like. Uh, I'm in the red and yellow and black Delphi car. Eric is in the Bucky's red and white, um, running our normal eighty eight and and thirteen. So the first lap, the first mistake I made was I got a little too excited on the green flag. And I'm going to go with cockpit view and just let's see if you notice what I did because it's uh, it's definitely a rookie mistake. I feel like uh, this is the first I've actually seen anything of this race. <laughs> All right. So pace car, see pace car pulls off. I'm in second gear, third gear. Green flags out, fourth gear, fifth gears. <laughs> I'm in sixth no. gear just past the flag. <laughs> that was such a premature shift. And I mean, you can look at these lap times. I guess, you know, 25 4 is not terrible, but uh, you can see it got progressively worse as we went down. And yeah, don't look at my lap times, <laughs> they're non existent. Oh. Yeah, you let's. I've I've never actually watched it from your perspective. I just remember you were having your your wheel calibration just didn't go well. I mean, you just got it yeah, earlier that day. We had just gotten it in. I was excited to drive, but the calibration of it wasn't right. So 
it was driving itself. Like I'm trying to turn left and it's trying to turn right. And it's probably a miracle. I held on anywhere and you see my lap times there lap 11. I was a 30 point 30. There's a 33. Is it just wanted to take off and and there you go. So you had a rough, rough first lap in our, our debut. And uh, yeah, it was not a fun first week until we finally got everything kind of set up and we, squared away. After that, I think we sat on a, a screen share for about, what, two hours trying to figure out what was wrong with your wheel calibration. Yeah, and we had and, to go into the notes section and change some files there, Yeah, and, some coding lines and... Finally, was, that worked. I mean, you know, the thing is, like, we were, let's see, I, I joined iRacing in July. I got my wheel in August. You got yours in, you know, that mid-September. So I was like, we didn't know what we were doing. I mean, we're just relying on YouTube to try to get these wheels calibrated. Uh, you know, force feedback settings on, on my wheel were just so messed up. And I, some of the struggles I was running into were just because I had no clue what I'm doing. I still, I have barely a clue now but um let's go back yeah, we're still that. learning setup stuff there is so much into this that it's pretty wild so let's uh let's watch the restart and go. you know as we're going to we're trying to be transparent and help and kind of share our struggles i mean yeah i mean we, you know we want to show that like yeah we're not great we're not great by any means and uh yeah, we're not we're, pretending to be experts here. No, we we're, are total we are, novice rookies still. We I think, are getting for a year. We are getting better. We're making definite improvements, and we're more aware of you know some of the functionality here. We're still doing fixed racing. Uh, at least I am. Um, I think I've been in what one open race, and that was the GT3 that we did. Yeah, and I mean you used the. Uh, we use Major's, Major's Garage. Garage. Shout out to Major's Garage. Um, Thank you for those setups. So, I mean, the, it was relatively uneventful until we got to lap 21. And I passed you a couple times just because you were you were running slower be, you know, because of the wheel problems. <laughs> I was just trying to stay on track. And, and so it led to this infamous scene right here. I'm coming up behind you and I said, Hey, I'm I'm coming on your inside. And it led to this infamous moment where we kind of came up on each other and boom. <laughs> so on that too, you know, I'm trying to stay away from you. That was the wheel driving itself. And like that was not me slamming into you. Yeah, I mean it just like if was, you go to the cockpit view, I think you see it just take off. Let's look at the cockpit view. All right, so this is from Eric's car, and like, I'm just oh yeah, to... you lost it. I wow, this is really the first time that I've I've watched this. Yeah, like I was doing everything I can to try to stay out of your way, but the wheels like no, we're gonna turn left. Did you? Okay, so you had to go. Uh... Yeah, you had to tow and get reset there. Um, let me go back and <laughs> I got to go back to mine. So you were on lap 12. I was on 21. At the yeah, so here I am driving. I knew I was far enough ahead of you. And my car was not in great shape. And let's let's watch it from my perspective here. Okay, so I see you coming. And I said, I'm coming on your inside trying to whoop and you just kind of veered over and i was just like and uh and there i go but for our original wednesday night dash intro like we we ended the intro with that clip of that crash i mean it's it's basically become iconic of, of what we're doing so um yeah it's just from my perspective like you can see i'm running like 40 second laps there's a just just taking it easy but let's just you know lap two i ran a 25 four nine so i'm just gonna watch this from the cockpit and let's let's see how this goes compared to you know now i'm in sixth gear 
Yeah, a little low entry little, there. A little low entry. Yes. Kind of climbing kind of, up. Yep, slide. Not a great exit out of two. Too far from the wall. Not a great entry into three. I get climbing up. A little almost. Close. Almost lose it there. And that is my fat. That was my best lap of the night. <laughs> Yeah, compare lap now, and you're going to see totally different lines. So, let's yours. I mean, you know, thirty seconds. You're having enough trouble as it was, but let's you know, let's just take a look for, for the sake of it. So, I don't know if I ever actually touched fifth or sixth gear this race. I don't think like, you did. I was happy just to keep it on track, and even then, it's chasing up the hill. I mean, you, and... you can see in the as you're you know you're hanging left i can see the wheel trying to push itself back right like i Oof. i could not turn there was so much like resistance on it i i still don't know like i don't think we <laughs> there's the crash <laughs> so your best lap led up to the crash <laughs> I'm so glad we got that figured out because I'll be honest, I was a little frustrated. I, I, like, you what were, is going on here? You, you were seriously like, I'm going to send this back. I'm like, no, let's let's sit down. Let's see if we can figure this out. There's something we're missing here. And then I think, you know, we, we got it figured out. Yeah, but yeah, know, so, we got it. So set. here's final lap of this race here. I'm I'm literally limping. I mean, look, <laughs> look at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have, I actually have not even watched this. <laughs> Like that's how much of like I'm done with this track right now. <laughs> the wheel's almost at a 90 degree angle <laughs> and I'm going straight. I'm just like, come on, hold it together, hold it together, hold it together. Like I could not go any faster than this. That was that was the absolute fastest I could go with with that damage. And I What's have sad to... your damaged car was still faster than mine without steering i have no idea how i didn't get meatballed and sent back for uh to repair for that but hey that was you know that's the first time out that was not something to be proud of but i mean it's fun to look back and just see in just a little over a year it was our first stream uh we, we didn't have any kind of intro we literally just we, we put up uh or i put up twitch studio um i had a usb capture card because i you know i didn't know any better at the time i had a usb capture card plugged into my pc and then it was the usb cable was going to this laptop and i was streaming off of the laptop and then i realized my pc is so powerful and this doesn't take up a ton of resources that i can just stream off the same pc that i'm playing on i don't need an external machine and i switched to that and things ran way better uh, instead of doing it through a you know a USB 3.0 cable, um, you know it's it just we we go into Twitch Studio, we hit play. I think my mom was the only person who watched that night, and uh, yeah, I mean it's the rest is history. I mean we've had well over a hundred people watch the the broadcast, and you know we've got a broadcast, we've got graphics, we've got, I mean I. That what we've done in in one year with this is incredible and i'm just really really proud of of what we've done and what we're going to just continue to do as we, we move forward with this i'm just watching the quality of racing that has come out of this league too like we're getting really competitive that we're racing clean and we're having fun i mean i was no i wouldn't say concerned but you know caden had a great season in the trucks he comes out and wins in chicago and i'm just thinking oh crap he's gonna clean sweep us and he didn't he hasn't um you know tyler vickery scott mccarris came out and won uh you know mark vickers his podium the last two weeks you know, yeah we're it, what three winners in three weeks now three went three winners in three weeks no no clean sweep here um that's still going to be just a legendary moment. Chad yeah, Winstead Chad be... Winstead and the clean sweep and his, you know, he had the Hall broom on here. Yeah, yeah, he had his broom on the front of his car for the Phoenix race that said clean sweep on it. Like, man. <laughs> yeah, he's... um. But, but Chad has moved something. in. Chad is uh, hanging around and, and he worked his way into the, the booth with Kendall and um, 
Justin Neves has been running a Trojan car and he's been coming up with a different pun <laughs> every week for that. But and Justin you, wasn't here tonight, so he, no, no, no Trojan pun this week, I guess. You know, the guys in the league too, they've been really enjoying chatting the booth with Kendall there. So it's yeah. awesome to have him. He's a great driver and he's a great uh, color commentary guy too. What isn't he good at? <laughs> Chad, you do have my nomination for um, Hall of Fame of Wednesday yeah. Night Dash. Yes, when when there is a <laughs> Wednesday Night Dash Hall of Fame, you will be the first inductee into the Wednesday Night Dash Hall of Fame. <laughs> and your um, clean sweep car is going to be the featured car. <laughs> the clean sweep. Got to get like... Uh, get a sponsor for like swiffer or something (laughs) the clean sweep brought you by swiffer oh that'd be awesome (laughs) all right so we're gonna go ahead and kill this screen share here and uh well this was a fun trip down memory lane um wasn't i i didn't i i knew i went back and i watched the crash once but i really haven't watched the rest of that and i probably will never watch this ever again <laughs> but i mean it was fun to go back after one year and oh, just yeah. see the just the amazing improvements well what'll be fun to do when we get through race eight here of the arca season is actually go back and count the different number of winners and all the different drivers that we've had you know it won't be do- too big of a difference but just seeing where we're at and how many ended up winning a race Do we want to make our announcement now for after season or race eight? Or do we want to save that? I think it could be a fun time to do it. I think we should. I mean, we're celebrating one year of this. We should. So season, uh, the season four is going to be the last season of 2022. It's, you know, it's going to end in early November. November 2nd is the last race. Uh, You know, holidays coming up people are traveling nobody's gonna be able to race anyway so you know give some time to recharge and get ready again in january for the the all-new season which probably indycar we haven't decided i'm, yet. I'm waiting for indycar i'm ready I think for it i'm ready to go back to indycar too but um you know we'll we're gonna finalize season 2023 season one around thanksgiving i think and uh Try to get five more drivers in for January, get us up to about 20, you know, maybe 25. I think 20 to 25 is a really good number if we can hold that. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, and so our big announcement is November 9th, we will be hosting a end of the year celebration race. And what we're going to do is we're going to get in GT3 cars we're going to go to Daytona and run the road course there for a 45 minute sprint and start uh, getting ready for the 24 hour race. Yeah. We're going to be re- getting ready for the 24 hour race in January, but anyone who has raced in Wednesday night dash this year in 2022 is eligible to participate in this event. Um, you know, the I've extended it. I told Kendall already, I've been extended an invite to him as well. Uh, so we go in our GT3s. We race for 45 minutes. We're going to give out cash prizes to the top three. There's no entry fee. We're in, we'll we'll put the replay up, but we're not going to broadcast it. Um, so, but yeah, it's just, you know, our way to give back and say thanks at the end of the year to everybody who's come in and raced with us, do something radically different from what we've done and uh, close out the year on a, on a fun note, hopefully. Yeah, it should be a fun time. Just mixing it up. On that note, I think we'll wrap up today. Uh, we're at like 35 minutes. We keep getting longer. <laughs> we promised a 10 to 15 minute show, but there's no way we could have fit all this in 10 to 15 minutes. Hey, now we're going to be the next um, Mike and Mike. going to be <laughs> DJ and Eric at night. That's you all know, things whatever. racing. That's right. Come, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, if, even if you listened on the podcast, come back and watch it, watch the video uh, over on our Twitch stream or on YouTube when you get a chance and, and cut ahead to the, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun to go back and look at how, how bad we were, but hope you enjoyed it. We certainly have in, for the most, well, for the most part, have enjoyed going back and looking at this cringe worthy race or what we called a race. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week at Talladega. At yeah, FR Racing for, Online. And thanks for FR, tuning in. FR Racing Online.com. We'll see you next week. Take care, y'all.